What up, guys? Kevin here. Just going to be a quick impressions of the Fallout TV show because I only watched two episodes and I'm already just disgusted that I'm going to wake up to like people tweeting about how they watched all eight episodes. It's a Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Don't people got to work? Because I would watch all eight episodes if I didn't have to work in the morning because the show is that damn good. It's a good damn show. Fallout. Fallout the TV show is great. Fallout the video games, people love them. I just can't get into them. I just can't. You guys have like a video game, just any video game or video game series you try to get into, but you just can't. That's Fallout for me, and I just can't really put my finger on it. I think just Bethesda games, I don't really enjoy unless it's Elder Scrolls, and that's just because I love the medieval setting. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I think it's just the world. It's just grimy. It's just junk laying around everywhere. I just don't want to be in that world. I don't want to be in the Fallout world. But the TV show is actually quite great. I don't want to be in the that world, but there's a level of detachment when you're just watching a TV show than actually playing the game and moving the character around and being the director. Jonathan Nolan here is a director of the TV show who is the brother of Christopher Nolan who does all those blowhearted movies. Some of them I like. Shout out to The Prestige. I love the prestige. Great movie. Um, but yeah, Fallout Amazon TV show. Just the first two episodes I watched. Really good stuff. I was um I wouldn't say blown away, but I only watched it because I just see the hype online, I see the good reviews, and then I saw I had like 30 day free Amazon Prime. I'm not a Prime member. I was like, sure, sign me up. And then I went ahead and spent the three bucks to not watch ads. And I watched the first two episodes, which are pretty lengthy, like over an hour long. I was like, holy crap, these are movies. <laughs> They're movies. Um, but yeah, the show's great. The tone is just perfect. Just very, uh, holy crap, this, this world is super serial and dire and just trying to survive. But very lighthearted as well. <laughs> I think maybe a little too lighthearted. Um but yeah, so it basically goes over, because the first episode, you got the vault dwellers, who the main chick is fucking hot. <laughs> and if I'm giving a very positive review, it might be just because of her in her big alien eyes. She has big eyeballs. I don't know who she is, but she's hot. I have a crush on her. Um, I'm going to marry her. I just am. She's very hot. Um, and it's just a funny scene just cause she just wants to, they're living in a vault and she really has nobody to have a whoopee with besides her cousin. And there's a funny scene where cousins trying to stop her from getting married from some unseen person in vault 33 or 32. I forgot which one's which who's who, but the other vault, uh, sight unseen, she's going to marry, <laughs> uh, this dude, and um, <laughs> the, the cousin just doesn't open up the vault or the entryway to get to the other vault, and she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> and he's like, I can't let you do this. Just be with me, and it's like, you're my cousin. Come on. We shouldn't procreate like this. <laughs> I was like, that's great, um, but no, then she goes over meets uh, her husband. They have a wedding. Something was off. I'm like, why is this guy very, very um, silent? Why is he a mute? And I'll just leave it there because craziness ensues and it gets to a point where she has to leave the vault and go into the world and then cut to the ghoul who is that Goggins guy, I believe. And well, actually goes to the Brotherhood of Steel and... Um, yeah, you got that whole faction over there. And then you got the ghoul doing his ghoul things. He, uh, I think he's played by Goggins, right? And then, yeah, by the second episode, all three converge into one. And now I feel like the series is really getting started. So after two episodes, I feel like things are finally, uh, in place for these, uh, for the power of friendship. Yes, power of friendship can exist outside of just JRPG anime bullshit. 
Um, but those first two episodes, really good. Funny moments, like really funny. Gory as hell. People, people's heads are being blown off, limbs being blown off, eyes being gouged. Uh, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Well, it still has that Amazon Primeness. Like this isn't like oh IMAX theater type quality. There's still some uh, CGI that's a little too like eh, come on. It's 2024. Can we uh, touch this up a little bit better? Um, and it's a little bit. It's a little bit of an eyesore here and there at some parts, but overall, I mean, what they're trying to do and just add up adapting the fallout world i think they did a great job uh again i am not a huge fallout fan i want to be but this actually has me hyped to play the games and i'm surprised they're not going to shadow drop fallout 4 remaster and then they should next week the remake remaster whatever they're doing with 4 should come out next week but i don't know it's it's microsoft it's xbox they don't (laughs) they can't figure these type of things out but it looks like they got a winner here. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to watch the other six episodes. Probably do that over the weekend. Um, but, yeah, two thumbs up. Fallout TV show. And what's her name? What's she from? Like, people don't just come out from out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, Michael Rappaport. <laughs> uh, was one of the, what, the brothers steal. What's the power armor suit? Whatever. He was one of them. He was getting attacked by one of the big old bear monsters. A bunch of boils on it. And then he just wusses out. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Oh, there's a scene where... I, I, I don't want to spoil anything. It's just funny as hell. Watch it. Um, it. It's hard for me. It's hard for shows to hold my attention. And even when I was watching the first two episodes, you know, I'm playing my phone, playing video games. It's just hard for me to focus, but it did a pretty damn good job um, keeping it most mostly. So, yeah, two thumbs up for the Fallout TV show, Um, especially if you got you got Prime already or you can get the free 30 days like I do. Yeah. Easy recommendation. All right. Anyways, that's it. I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.